guys, welcome to our kitchen for the first time. Today we talk grocery shopping, highly requested video. So let us unpack the stuff we bought and we starting. from nine to five. So usually breakfast and lunches we eat in the office and usually dinner we eat at home. So it gives us for a whole week, five breakfasts, five lunches and five dinners. So first, it's like he said, we figure out what we want to eat, what we feel like eating over the whole uh, week. With breakfast, it's kind of easy because because of our diet choices, mm -hmm. we usually eat scrambled eggs or dairy free or gluten free pancakes. So um, it's important for us to have loads of eggs, always some vegetables like onion, bell pepper or spinach and tomatoes and we are completely fine. And also like bananas, some dry fruits and almond flour. When it comes to lunches, we have two or three different types of meals over the course of the week. Majority of the time we prepare different types of chilies or curries, ideally one pot dishes. And we store them over for one or two days so that we have the convenience over the course of the week. Uh, and when we come back for the dinner, we have something light, which might be ranging from fish to a soup or simple broth, or maybe even sometimes a protein shake after a gym. Or sometimes just don't eat anything. We starve. So a few tips when it comes to choosing what goes into your shopping list. First of all, guys, buy seasonal. And also include in your diet and on your shopping list, vegetables from the cruciferous group like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, and bok choy. Lab studies show that one of the phytochemicals found in cruciferous vegetables, sulforaphane, can stimulate enzymes in the body that detoxify carcinogens before they damage cells. They are also high in nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and low in calories. Include ginger, lemon and green vegetables to ensure that you aid detoxification of your body. Also include ginger, turmeric and cinnamon for anti-inflammatory properties. Example, prepare a coffee where you mix them all together. So this is what I like the most. Probably you can see this on my Instagram as well. Golden latte. Include antioxidants in your diet. They protect your body from potential harmful chemicals known as free radicals. Examples of such foods range from dark chocolate, blueberries, beetroots, spinach, kale, pecans, goji berries, and even red cabbage. Include garlic, onion, and organa to improve your immunity, especially during winter. Include a source of healthy fats like avocado, eggs, olive oil, salmon, coconut yogurt or coconut oil, which will all help you stay fuller and longer and ensure that your cell health is at an optimal. Don't forget to include a quality protein to your diet, like organic meat and organic eggs. Include fillers to ensure you have something to eat with your main dish, whether it's starchy vegetables, chickpeas or even rice. Don't ever forget about fiber for proper digestion. Fiber you can mostly find in your vegetables or some mycelium husk. Number 11. Include fish. Ensure that they are wild as opposed to farmed. This will bring diversity to your diet and also additional and useful omega-3s to your diet. Last but not least, include bones or bone broth. This is to ensure that you keep your gut health in check, ensure that you intake your probiotics at a natural level and you have a sustainable level of collagen for your bone health. Okay guys, now you know what we bought, so let us tell you a bit how we do shopping. So we always choose local places. We want our food to come as close as possible. So we want local and Poland, Polish products. Usually we go to Bio Bazaar, which is our favorite place on earth when it comes to food right now. And if you have the comfort of ordering online, use it. 
Uh, we tend to have a couple of options in Poland and in the UK, which we've linked below if you want to use them. We tend to usually do the orders at the start of the week. So come the weekend, we have a full set of vegetables and meat and everything that we need in the pantry ready for the upcoming week. So when we are actually in the store, we ask a lot of questions. In the beginning, it was very problematic for me because I was a bit shy to ask how you, how your animals were fed, whether they have enough space and etc. But hey, like it comes about your health, right? So uh, don't be shy, don't make that mistake and just ask people how they fed their animals and how the food is sourced and whether they add any additives. Uh, one thing that comes across very sincerely is if people actually care about how they produce their food, they're passionate and they're happy to mm -hmm. talk about it. And actually proud to yeah, tell them yeah, that the yeah. food is great and you can't find anything better than this. And one specific thing when it comes to fish is ask the question whether they're farmed or whether they're actually wild caught. And if you don't have the option, stick with fish such as cod, which cannot, which I don't think at the moment, at, at least in Europe, can be farmed. And for example, milk. Like I think now we are not drinking milk much, mm -hmm. but um, I love milk. Sorry. I love milk. <laughs> and uh, currently, I'm dairy free. But whatever. When <laughs> we actually buy milk, there is a guy who has only six cows. Yeah. So this is lovely. Like probably they have even their own names. So yeah. um, like be sure that you exactly know the product. And we go against the natural statement of saying buy pasteurized milk, we buy unpasteurized yeah. milk and fresh milk. So in summary, be conscious of how your food is sourced in terms of dairy, meat and spices. When it comes to vegetables, if you don't have the choice to stick with organic, stick with the clean 15 or the dirty dozen. So that's about where you can buy stuff and how you can buy stuff. So when you actually purchase this stuff and you go home and if you choose to cook on another day as opposed to the day that you purchase, the next most important thing is about how you store your food. Meat. Freeze them if you don't cook it within the next two days. If you have white meats, ensure that you store them at the bottom of your refrigerators to avoid cross-contamination. And when it comes to vegetables, make sure that the vegetables are stored as a whole. Don't cut and then store them because every single time you cut a vegetable, the valuable enzymes that are released are destroyed. If you do actually want to cut them and ensure that there is convenience, make sure that you freeze them. And ultimately make sure that your refrigerator is below six degrees altogether. And last but not least, when you actually cook some food, ensure that you leave some time for the food to cool down, not more than an hour or hour and a half, and ensure that you refrigerate them. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed our first grocery haul and our shopping tips. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.